Some 90% of Americans out there are getting a stimulus check from the government. And for many, it won't be enough to get them through this, this crisis, if you will. And that means basically that they will have to pick which bills get paid and which do not. So aid is on your side with some specific advice on how to make that money last a little bit longer. Manuela Martinez was recently laid off and plans to file for unemployment. She'll join the 26 million other Americans who filed for unemployment in the last five weeks. What went through my mind when I got laid off was like, how am I supposed to pay my electricity bill? How am I supposed to pay my rent? While also thinking about how am I going to set food on the table? But she's taking steps that can help. So I reached out to some of my credit card companies and I've requested them to stop interest rates. They've actually took an ownership to say, listen, you don't have to pay anything for the next three months, some of them two months. It's important to get a handle on how much cash you have coming in and how much needs to go out. Normally, you might have to focus on paying down your high interest rate debts first, but these really aren't normal times. So you might have to focus instead on essentials such as rent or utilities or, or pharmacy bills. For people who suffered a financial hardship due to the coronavirus pandemic, many banks are deferring credit card payments like Manuela's and waiving fees for a period of time. If you get a hardship accommodation, make sure that your payments are reported as current on your credit report rather than delinquent so it won't impact your FICO score. You may have heard that the CARES Act may offer relief from mortgage payments, but the law's passage does not mean you can simply ignore your mortgage bill. The law actually doesn't kick in automatically. You have to contact your servicer and it doesn't say how you'll be asked to pay up afterwards. So your servicer should contact you about a month before the time is up to offer you a realistic payment plan. Now, it's important to keep this in mind that this law applies only to federally backed mortgages. You can find out if that is an option for you by speaking to your mortgage servicer.